Hi guys, Bill and Kunzel here once again with another tip and this one is regarding negative gearing versus positive gearing. What is it and how will it affect you as an investor? In this example, we're looking at an established property, not a brand new home, an established home. So a home that, let's just say for example, was built in 1980 for this example. So negative gearing basically means that when you take your costs for your interest, plus all your other costs associated with the property, and then you take the rent as the income and you do the income less the costs and expenses, you end up in the red, meaning you're in the negatives. And in this instance, it's $1,700 a year that it costs us based on these costs here and the interest rate of 4.2% with a loan of $400,000. Okay, rent that $350 per week. Same house, same example over here, but in this instance, the loan's only $300,000. So $100,000 less than over here. So the interest is a lot less. The rent's the same and the costs are the same. So we take the total income, less the total expenses over here, we end up in this example, positively geared by $2,500 per year. Now in all instances, you're better off to pay tax rather than you know, claim money as a deduction because it means you're making money. But there's certain ways that you can work this to your advantage depending on your income and your situation, which is a conversation for you and your accountant. This is not financial advice, this is just giving you a brief overview of what it means. The reason I'm doing this is because Labor versus Liberal have two different policies in place. It's almost inevitable that we may find ourselves with the Labor government next year, and they're talking about abolishing negative gearing on established homes. You'll still be able to claim it on new homes, so that's fine, but you will not be able to claim it on established homes. What that means though, there's a grandfathering rule according to their policy which I found online. Once again, do your own research. But the grandfathering rule means that if you own an investment property now and the policy changes, you will still be able to negative gear your property because you've purchased that property under the current rules at a particular time before the policy changed. So if you're an investor, the best advice I can give you is that we're most likely going to see Labor government next year. Get out there and buy now. If you're looking at established properties on large parcels of land for future subdivision and development potential, which is where the money is, go out and buy now. Disregard the media, disregard the talk about house prices falling and all this other rubbish. They're talking about Sydney and Melbourne, okay? We are not Sydney and Melbourne. Australia is more than just two cities. Those two cities have been overinflated for far too long, so those corrections are inevitable. We're still positive, slow and steady growth here. So ignore the haters, ignore the negativity because it's all complete and utter BS. Get out there and buy now while you can still negative gear an established property and have the tax advantages of doing so. My name's Bjorn, as always do your own research. Hope to see you out and about. You can call me anytime on 0404 164 447 should you wish to sell or buy or develop any property. Bye for now.